Coming up on First at Four, a potent drug is found in one eastern Kentucky county. Plus, the Department of Energy and scientists from a federal nuclear weapons facility announce a long-sought achievement that could lead to carbon-free electricity. Plus, showers and storms are back in the forecast as soon as tonight. The breakdown is next as Mountain News First at Four starts right now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, we could see two or three inches of rain in the next couple of days, which is leading to some flooding concerns. That's why we've issued a first alert weather day. For the latest, let's send it over to meteorologist Evan Hatter. Evan? Well, that's right, Steve. Our first alert weather day taking effect right now as we watch a powerful storm system to our west begin to push into the region as we head through tonight and mainly into tomorrow. So let's break it down. Our first alert weather day in effect for the heavy rain, at least potential for heavy rain, moving into the region as we head later on tonight into tomorrow and lasting through the early hours of Thursday. We could see water rises on those creeks and streams, and I know a lot of folks are still dealing with some damage from the flooding back in July, so it is something we're going to keep a very close eye on, especially when it comes to mudslides, things like that. Outside right now, nothing of the sort. In fact, sunshine breaking out in many of our locations. We're cooler in the Big Sandy. It's 47 Pineful, but how about 55 Hazard and 57? The reading now back in London there. We're still seeing warmer air across portions of the Cumberland Valley, which lines up with our area of greatest potential for rainfall over the next couple of days. 61 right now in Manchester, 59 in Somerset. We'll continue to see temperatures warmer down there at least through the evening. You see we're bringing in warmth and moisture, and here comes the rain from the west as it heads on into the region a little bit later on for tonight. We'll get down into those low 40s in some areas with showers on the way in a little bit later on. In a few minutes, I'll have the details on where the storms are now, where they're heading, and how much rain we could see in a few minutes. Steve? All right, Evan, thank you. Mississippi State head football coach Mike Leach has died. The university made the announcement this morning that Leach had died last night after complications related to a heart condition. Leach had been taken to a hospital in Jackson, Mississippi on Sunday night following what the university initially described as a personal health issue. Leach spent two seasons as offensive coordinator at the University of Kentucky back in the late 90s, helping develop Leslie County native Tim Couch into the number one overall pick in the 1999 NFL Draft. He was just 61 years old. We'll have more on this in sports coming up at 530. One Eastern Kentucky Commonwealth's attorney says a drug 100 times more powerful than fentanyl was found in at least one county. WIMT's Dakota Makers reports on the dangers of this drug. Perry County Commonwealth's attorney Scott Blair tells me just late last week he was made aware that the drug carfentanil was found locally in Perry County. Carfentanil is a synthetic opioid. It is 100 times more potent than fentanyl. The Commonwealth's attorney told me he was at a court proceeding when a member of law enforcement told him the drug is in the county. Blair says the drug can be mixed with recreational drugs like marijuana or pressed into pills. It's the number one killer for people ages 18 to 42 in the United States. I mean, think about that. That's a vast group of people. And, um, you know, so this is everybody reaching out saying, hey, we love you. We don't want anything bad to happen to you. It's also be saying, I've got enough. I don't want to have to prosecute you. The Drug Enforcement Administration reports that carfentanil is 10,000 times more potent than morphine. Reporting in downtown Hazard, I'm Dakota Makris, WIMT Mountain News. The Drug Enforcement Administration reports carfentanil is used as an ingredient in tranquilizers used on elephants and other large animals. The Leslie County Motorcycle Riders Club is bringing Christmas cheer to kids in their community. Kids from all four Leslie County elementary schools went shopping with a biker at Walmart today. The kids got to pick out toys and other items they may need this holiday season. Nick Walker with the LCMR says they've been planning and fundraising for this all year. The last two days, the elevation of uh, excitement has just continually grown, you know. I think each and every one of us was overly excited. Couldn't wait for it to happen. 
The kids were chosen by their schools based off of individual needs to shop with a biker today. There were 20 kids total. It is a possible game changer for energy production, fusion. For the first time, scientists have achieved a net gain in energy. As CBS's Michael George reports, they hope to one day harness the energy source of the stars to help save the planet below. Science fiction is one step closer to reality. The Energy Department announced a breakthrough in the decades-long quest for nuclear fusion. Scientists at the National Ignition Facility achieved fusion ignition, and that is creating more energy from fusion reactions than the energy used to start the process. Fusion is the energy that powers the sun and stars. It works by pressing hydrogen atoms into each other with such force that they make helium and release enormous amounts of energy and heat. The technology has been around since the hydrogen bomb, but it's extremely hot and incredibly difficult to control, possibly until now. If we can advance fusion energy, we could use it to produce clean electricity, transportation fuels, power heavy industry, so much more. Scientists are still likely decades away from scaling this energy to power our grids. But this laboratory first is a first step towards clean energy. Just remember, fusion power has no nuclear waste to speak of, no meltdowns to worry about. Current nuclear power plants use fission, which breaks apart atoms to create energy. Even though it's not burning fossil fuel, they create radioactive waste, and reactor meltdowns can harm humans and the environment. Fusion could change all that. We're long overdue to have converted something so destructive that finally it could be used for a peaceful purpose in the service of civilization. And help make reliance on fossil fuels a thing of the past. Michael George, CBS News, New York. U.S. officials say the breakthrough will also pave the way for advancements in national defense. The body of American sports journalist Grant Wall, who died while reporting from the World Cup, is back in the U.S. His manager says an autopsy is now being completed. Wall died last week after collapsing during last Friday's match between Argentina and the Netherlands. U.S. State Department officials say they have not seen any indication of foul play in connection with his death. Wall was just 49 years old. Tomorrow marks the 10-year anniversary of the Sandy Hook school shooting. On December 14, 2012, a gunman killed 20 students and 6 adults at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. It took place in a first-grade classroom. Since then, a new school has been built in the town that is still best known for that tragic event. The Sandy Hook Permanent Memorial was unveiled publicly a month ago. The memorial is made up of a circling network of paths that lead visitors through woods, across ponds and meadows to the center. In the middle, there's a fountain that sits in a granite basin engraved with the names of the victims. Some survivors are continuing to pressure the U.S. Supreme Court to help enact changes aimed at preventing similar violence in the future. Coming up on First at Four, one area in Europe is blanketed by snow, something they're not used to dealing with. Plus, showers and storms raging to our south and west. What this means for our weather here in the mountains coming up after this.